So today I want to do a video on how to avoid prop wash. So what is prop wash? When you're fast descending and you're getting in your own disturbed air and the quad is oscillating and wiggling. What's going on with them birds over there? So the main thing that you're gonna need to focus on are your eye gains. Like if your eye gains are too low, your quad will move when you're doing a half backflip, but also when you're getting down and your cord is wiggling, that also means that your eye gains are too low, so you need to at first tune your eye gains. So I saw that Stingy already did a video on this, but I think that I have some more small little tweaks on how to avoid those oscillations. And yeah, we'll do a small little stick cam right now, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I have the stick cam set up like this. It's a little weird, but I don't have a second GoPro and no chesty, so I need to have this huge tripod. Come on, fuck cars! It's also a little bit hard for me to speak English by flying because I'm German and I can't speak English very well. Oh. Like this is how. Oh shit! Like, this is how I'm flying right now. So, first I want to do it like the old-fashioned way. Like, pull out very fast and you can see that I'm getting into my own disturbed air and it's oscillating. Even though I have my eye gains tuned. See it? Pull out very fast, like waiting for the last second, and it's oscillating. And the way you need to do it is like you need to punch out and give it a little bit throttle so you're getting away from your undisturbed air, like the way that Stingy already explained it. Like you see, no oscillations. Like the old way, oscillate smaller oscillations oscillations and now give it a, some throttle so you're flying out of your disturb there Good. oh shit see no oscillations See? So I'm also getting some oscillations when I'm doing like this. And no good throttle. See? So there's actually no way how you can avoid those oscillations when you're flying backwards. Like the only thing that you can do is a wall or smaller little flip. Like so. Like so. No visible oscillations okay this battery is pretty much oh shit this battery is fucking dark oh no i fucking over discharged the battery like what the fuck the fucking pdb is not working <laughs> i just lost power i'm still at like 400 milliamps it's a fucking r line I just fucked up an R line. By the way, my quad is a little bit dirty because I was at the first spot I needed to leave because some horses were running around and yeah. And this is also why my battery just sagged out on me because I didn't flew the whole pack and I haven't checked the voltage uh, before I took off and I was at around 900 milliamps and Actually, I wasn't at 900 milliamps because I've already flown this bag. So, yeah, second R line. Hope this is full. But you need to do a flip or something so you can't really see the oscillations. Yeah, okay, this was also a little bad, but you get the idea. Like, not only when you're doing flying backwards, but also when you can't really give enough throttle to pull out or to get out of your disturbed air you can do like when you're doing a hard 
180 like that. Okay, don't crash into our sets. Like hard 180. Just do a flip or something. So it always depends on the situation. Oh. So let's just fly like I will normally do and I will do some S splits. And yeah, I hope you can see something through the stick. And let's take off. Oh, baby, I 